Welcome to the Sonya Buchanan Show, where we inspire one life, one smile at a time. Great day, everyone. It is time for the Sonya Buchanan Show, where we inspire one life, one smile at a time. Listen, you guys, we have a great show for you today. But first, let me give you the title. It's going to be Never Take Away From You. Uh, I chose that title because um, I want to impact your world about something that I think is a huge significance. Uh, I am in my later years of age and I've experienced a lot of things. And I want to, you know, just touch bases on this subject. Never take away from you. Uh, And what I mean is never take away from you by giving your time and energy on things that come against the progress of your life, uh, such as words, accusations, um, things that totally goes against your progress. Uh, I don't know if you're like me, but I wake up every morning and I write down things to do uh, for that particular day. And uh, sometimes there may be two things on that list. Sometimes there's five things. Uh, There are times that I write 10 things. When I write about 10 things on my list of the things to do, that means my focus has to be according to those 10 things. And uh, and if you're like me, you have a very busy schedule already. If you have kids, if you're married, or you're taking care of your parents, or you're doing a lot of things, and also including with that is working out, exercising, exercising, planning the meals, um, uh, going to work. (laughs) Let's not even think about sitting in traffic sometimes between 30 minutes to an hour just to commute to work. But I want to talk about that because even with all those things as part of your life, those things are never take away from you. That's part of your, your life, your everyday schedule. So when you have things on your things to do list, you take in consideration those extra things such as going to work and traveling, going through traffic, cooking and taking care of your family. But then there is personal uh, goals or personal things to do list that you have written down that morning, that is, you do that. And sometimes people don't write it down. They just have those things to do list in their head. And, and the reason I want to talk about the subject, never take away from you, because in our course of life and everyone experiences this, um, and I read on the social media newspaper, you know, when they talk about the billionaires and people are throwing darts at them about what they do in their decisions. And also just regular people and uh, you and me or people that I have worked with in the past where I've experienced things, darts thrown at other people and which is called gossip in the office, you know. Uh, It really is gossip pretty much on all platforms, whether we read it on a newspaper or we read it on social media and we're throwing darts at other people. And um, again, our subject today is never take away from you. Uh, The reason why I want to talk about that, because just, um, just the course of life, I have had things that, occurred that was clearly not who I am, but it was like darts thrown at your course of life. And the reason I wanted to talk about the subject is because of the things that you have on your list, it keeps your mind focused on your plan and schedule for that particular day. So when there's things uh, coming towards you or against those plans, It is vital that you don't step away from those things to do list, dealing with things that has nothing to do with that list. Um, And even if you don't write the list down, uh, you already have your course of life or where you're trying to go. But when there's things that's coming at you that's totally against your life, and, and I'm guilty at guilty of it sometimes myself, is that I would turn to hear the falsification of what is being said. And sometimes you may react towards what is being said because out of defense of protecting yourself. But I want you to look at it in a different way because this happens to everyone. 
where falsification comes at you and you turn and you take your eyes off the, some people call it the goals, uh, the prize, the finish line, the mark. Um, but you take your eyes off of the initial plan that you have taken the time to write out or think about, or even the course of your life. Um, even the courses of your life, a course of that week, a course of that day, whatever it is. But when there's things or accusations or darts, I call them darts because that's what they are. The words are like arrows and they pierce you. But when you take your eyes off and you turn to hear the falsification, you take your eyes off of your planned goal and it causes you to stop doing what you're doing to focus on something that is clearly false, clearly a a very falsification against your life, your plans, your even surrounding in your area. And, uh, And I want to talk to you about another scenario when that happens. And maybe this will help to keep your eyes to stay forward. Um, the another, the uh, other scenario with the falsifications that's coming against your life, because you're clearly not even focused on that, but they're focused on you. And this is the part that I want to talk to you about, about not responding and not turning for things that are falsification because it takes your eyes off what you already planned. And when you keep your eyes on what you're planned, you, it's easier to flow going towards that direction. Now, on the other hand, on the, the flip side of the scenario from the ones that's throwing the falsification is this. Now, we have two scenarios here. We can have people that is really not in our world of plan on our plans that we have already focused our eyes off. But we have those who are outside our plans and they speak words of encouragement now, those are good because they're helping you stay focused. They're giving you positive, positive incentives to say, we're going to stay focused on our initial goals and our initial plans. Uh, those people are encouragers. They are, you can turn your head because your head is not taking you off the plan and focus the goals. It's also giving you the success and the encouragement, the, the, the drive, the desires, the the eagerness to continue to keep going forward is it's a more positive force to say, go, go, go. Those are people who are pouring water on your life to, to cause your life to continue to progress. But then you have those, there's a, this is the flip side here. And I wanted to talk to you about this and maybe I'm sharing this scenario will help you not turn when you hear the falsifications, when you are seeing things or read things about your life that are causing you to turn to take away from your life. What's happening when those falsifications are coming is that the people who are giving the falsifications or the environment that's given the falsifications or the... Um, the scenario that's given the falsifications of your life and is causing you to turn most often the people who are doing that have completely came off of their journey going their directions and now they're on your directions so all this time implemented focusing on you in a negative way, um, not understanding your goals and, and the purpose of your life going in a direction, they have clearly stopped working on their life. Uh, they have clearly now focused on someone else's journey, someone else's opinions, someone else's plans and purpose, and they have neglected their own things to do list. They have turned completely. You know, so I've, I hear people all the time and they talk about uh, she did a, a 180 and a 360, you know, and younger when I didn't really understand that, you know, the 180 is like you not completely turn around or you know, did a U-turn. Uh, and then you have ones that you didn't do a U-turn. You just completely went just off the course. Well, that's what happens when. You have falsification and it's aimed at you. And when it's aiming at you, you turn. That's the whole point because that's what they did. 
And what you don't want to do is do what they did. And that is the one I want to talk about that because uh, they clearly have abandoned their their life, their course, their, their things to do list. And then they over here focusing on your things to do list to get you to be off course. And I, that's the part I want to share with you is knowing that when this is happening, the first thought could be, oh, my goodness, they have abandoned their life. And they're not progressing. They're degressing. <laughs> if there's such a word. And this may help you to stay focused and not get angry at those who have completely forgot about their life and journey. And for you not to respond or react towards that. You know, I, I listen to it all the time and I, I, I read about it on social media when I'm reading, trying to catch up on the news of what's going on. And my whole thoughts are, uh, if I am not seeing the person that they're talking about saying these words, this is to be true, then I don't receive it as being true. This helps me to keep from having falsification and believing falsifications because then I will be put in the same predicament as those who are given the falsifications and believe in something that the person that they're aiming at to say, this is what happened. It's not true. I don't want to even be involved with that. Um, most often when I do read uh, snippets of things, I like to hear it from the person's mouth. Uh, I like to hear it verbally, hearing it from them. It's very difficult for me to just read a snippet of something. And then I go and research and see, did this person really say this? I see it all the time when I'm in social media, when I'm going through the quotes of uh, Instagram. And they will have these quotes underneath the people. And of course, you know, you can re uh, revamp these quotes and put it on of a picture, but I have to go and research and see, did this person really say this? Or did someone who created this postcard put their picture here and they put these words underneath, uh, the person of what they're saying? Either way, it is still a form of whoever created falsification has taken a life and it's off course. That's a distraction on your life when you are on course. Um, uh, I think that's why uh, it is so important that you write those things down so that you don't get caught up with things coming at you and you will not get upset and be uh, strained in your way of thinking, how could they do this? See, even if you stopped and say, why would you say that to me? How could they do this to me? Why would you lie like that to me? You have turned to listen to that. You know, in your heart that you didn't say that, you know, in your heart, this is not true. The truth always win at the very end of the day. The truth always stands, um, straight up and say, Hey, this is the truth. Uh, there are times where you have to uh, fight back, but even in the midst of your fighting back against something that is that is not true, um, don't take your eyes off the course. You can you can manage. God created our body and minds that we can do multiple things. Uh, we can be multitask. But when that happens, you can still fight with one arm and still continue to go on down that journey and fill those things of the things to do list. Now, every year uh, between December, the last week of December, I take the time out and I write my things to do list. And sometimes that end of the year for the next year, my list is usually between 75 to 100 things that I want to accomplish for that year. And you may say that's a lot of things to do, but we have 365 days um, until the next year. And, uh, and I was looking over my list yesterday because it's, we're coming into the end of the year. We just hit uh, November and I was looking at my list. And last year I decided because 
we was dealing with the pandemic, so I had time. So I decided to create two lists. One list that I could accomplish and do on my own. And then the other list is list that I pray about things and asking God for faith or faith. Um, some people call it for the agreement of the universe, for the favor of the universe. Uh, some people call it, I'm praying to the Lord that I serve. I'm praying, I'm putting things out there. I'm asking uh, for this to happen. So I created two lists. My, my list is about 100 and the other list that I've been praying about is about 50. And when I was looking at the list, I pretty much have accomplished everything on my list and I'm still praying for the other list. And I was looking at that list and I'm thinking, uh, I can see where I got off course turning and, or the, there are some distractions that came in my life that caused me to turn. But looking at that list that I had written down has helped me to say, oh, okay, I need to shift back on this list and just kind of turn this off for a moment so I can get back on course. Uh, the list that I prayed about, a faith list, this is something that will accomplish during a course of time, not necessarily within a year. But I want to talk to you guys about don't take away from you by focusing on things that are not true because it does cause you to stop for a moment because time never, you never get your time back. Time just continuously to keep going and keep going. And the moment that you take your eyes off to deal with something that is completely out of the range of where you're going because you're having to turn, step backwards, deal with this issue, do you really have to deal with that issue? Do you re- is it, if, it's, if it's not a life-threatening situation, do you really have to turn to address it? Is it something that you can not adjust to get angry about? Um, can you just continue, just go on and just shift and not even focus on that? Uh, you know, a, a lot of times in the South, uh, we have areas where there is uh, very dark, so we have a lot of deers. And when the deers see the light, they stop completely. It's like they stop in their tracks, and they're looking at you, you're looking at them, coming towards their way, not thinking that we're in their territory or they in our territory. But either way, like when lights are shown up, they just stop in their tracks. Well, don't be a light stop in your track listening to something that is falsification against your things to do list for that particular day. Uh, this will cause your life to be a little bit more progress uh, going for what you need and what you want. And not only that, I don't have kids, so it's very, I try not to come here and talk about, even if you have kids, but I've had nieces and, and nephews. And um, I've experienced it on that, but I try not to give advice about children because I don't. I have never lived with kids uh, for a course of life, so I don't want to give advice about that. But but this podcast is really wanting you to not focus so much on things that are negative and is totally not even your nature. It is there to distract you and for you not to turn. Can you just continue to walk forward? And while you're walking forward, maybe write it on a things to do list. Um, the scenario of how it cannot be you. Um, that why was this a distraction? Now you can analyze it in that such a way that it caused you to grow. Why was that? a issue? Is it something that I'm implementing? Did I offend someone? Why are you still going forward, but never address the issue when it's coming from someone because they don't know you. They don't know your plans. They don't know your progress. They don't know the anguish. They don't know the hurt. They don't know your past. They don't know any of that. They're just going off of what they see today. Why you are, I call it the, you remember the show Road Runner? <laughs> Well, they don't know any of that, and, um, and that's, they're there to be a distraction because their life is a distraction. 
because they're focused on you. They have completely lost the course of their life. Um, But that is what I wanted to share today is don't take away from you by focusing on things that is not part of your list that you have to accomplish for that day, that week, that month, that year, five-year goals, 10-year goals. If it's not life-threatening, it is not worth turning 180 to handle something that is not going to benefit you in the long run. It's only going to cause you a delay and, and a distraction and frustration that will be added to your life. You want to just continue to go forward and maybe pray about it and ask God to reveal what it is. Just pray about it and, and uh, so you can continue to, to go forward. Uh, we lost a lot of time a whole entire year. And, um, and that, was a, that was a learning lesson during that year. But it still was a huge distraction in where we're going or where you're going individually. And where you're going for your family, Uh, the schools, you know, all of that. Completely a distraction. But listen, you guys, this is the end of our podcast. And I want to just remind you, never, never let anything take away from the ultimate goal of your life. And the joy of going on that journey. The best part about a life is the journey. Uh, I used to think it's the prize, but it's really, it's the journey. It's the best part of life. But this is the end of our podcast, and I want to thank you, you guys. Uh, Listen, be sure to check our new store. We have some wonderful bracelets, faith bracelets. We come into the end of the year, holiday season. Stop by and uh, look at some of the t-shirts and and um, hoodies that I'm creating just for you just to enjoy the summer uh, and the summer the winter the spring but we're coming into the winter time so you want to make sure that you keep your joy because winter sometimes is um, not great for everyone but listen you guys you can stop by our store on comfortingpromises.com and check out our e-store. Just click on the e-store and just take a look at some of the things that we have. And um, listen, you guys, I want you to have a great day. Have a great rest of the week. Have a great weekend. And um, this is your girl, Sonya Buchanan, with the Sonya Buchanan Show. Well, we inspire one life, one smile at a time. Bye, you guys. Hey everyone! Have you ever had a day that you planned to accomplish a gazillion of things but distractions interrupted your commitment and you achieved nothing? There's a perfect solution to the madness. Try journaling on your busiest days. We offer six amazing cool designs of journal entry journals starting at $5.99. These journals are designed to improve your goal productivity. So what are you waiting for? Order now at comfortingpromises.com. Click on the e-store tab. Your day will be happier you did. Thank you for joining our podcast today. The podcast was produced and edited by Sonia Buchanan. For more information about the host, you can go to sonbuchanan.com. For information about Comfort and Promises broadcast community, you can go to comfortingpromises.com. Thank you for listening to our broadcast. The Sonya Buchanan Show, where we focus on one life, one smile at a time. Until next time, bye you guys.